let's just actually see how much energy we have now and how much it increases. Just for funsies. Okay, 309. Lord, 5,672 kilowatts. Wow. That fuse is absolute gold mine, man. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I'm the Bearded OG. And we have fish. Yes, indeed, we do. I have, um, whoops, there's my butt. <laughs> um, I put, uh, I, I went ahead and moved the uh, teleporter over up against this wall and put the aquarium here and the two fish eggs that we got out of the plankton thingamadoodle. Um, and the other thing I want to do is let's go ahead and also make an amphibian farm. Uh, because we did pick up a couple of frog egg thingamadoodles. Um, so let's see, what do we need for that? Uh, a furt and a common larva. Grab a furt and a common larva. And we'll also grab the frog eggs there. And we should have another one in here. Yep, we do. And let's just go plop this outside somewhere. I haven't, I haven't really done anything since the last episode. Um, I just edited the last one and then started up again because I want to get to Luton. Rootin' tootin' Luton. All right, so can we... We're only going to turn on the cardinal axis. All right, so we'll put you there. Oh, we can only put one in there? All right, well, hey, look at that. We got frogs. Maybe we should... Oh, shit, we got a lot of frogs. <laughs> Damn. Uh... Uh, okay, hold on. Let's... You know what I'm thinking, actually? I'm thinking these frogs would probably enjoy their life much better down in the canyon by the water. What say you all? Let's go ahead and put you there, and we'll put the frogs in there. Much better. Look at that. These frogs are so happy now. They're down in the water. I have never seen... A frog more happy in my life than that frog right there. That is one damn happy frog. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, you got more fish eggs and more fish eggs. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna need storage for that stuff because it ha comes in pretty damn quickly. Uh, oh, look at you. You're so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we got some frogs. What does this give us? Uh, this gives us 860 grams per S towards animals, but it also gives us plant pressure and heat, too. Wow, that's a lot of stuff just from that one thing. Pretty cool. Thanks, frogs. Oh, we got a new type of fish egg. Okay. Um, let's go. Uh, let's go see what that's about, because I have the, you know, you can put up to two species of fish in your aquarium, and I have the same two species in there. Let's go check this out. Warning, low food level. Here, let's pull uh, you out of there. And we'll do another one. There we go. Okay. So we look in here. To do a Yulani, we need a T. Uh, oh, that's, I think that's, that's different too. This is a 250 multiplier. So we need a tier three mutagen and a uh, plankton C. Uh, what do we need for a tier three mute? A bacteria, a nitrogen, and a sulfur. Bacteria, uh, nitrogen, and a sulfur.
Okay, so we got that done. And then, um... Yeah, fertilizer in a sea, a plankton sea. Plankton A, Plankton B, Plankton C. Research. Okay, nice. So that'll give us a, a new species of fish with a little bit better multiplier than these guys. Uh, this is doing 20.8 GS towards animals. that in there. I guess we'll just stick you back in here for now. Generic frog eggs. All right. Um, so I'm assuming drones are working on bringing us more super and obsidian there. Oh, look at this. Wow. They almost got this completely full. Okay. Nice. All of these. Okay. Yeah. They're out working. We need more though. Is the thing. Cause there's only have like what eight at the yeah eight at this point and we've given them a lot of work to do is this thing full yet it's getting there yeah they're moving the silk over okay cool that's uh almost done huzzah yulani fish egg okay let's grab that and we're gonna go here take one of the ikaru oh wait a minute though that's a 325 multiplier Hmm. I thought these would be lower. Okay, well, let's put the Yulani in anyways, just so we have some variety. They're kind of a cool looking purple fish there. Okay, well, we'll make more of these. Uh, I mean, eventually we'll be able to do the, the big aquarium, uh, which is here. It's a little ways off yet, though. A little ways, for sure. Okay, this is the thing I really want to get going on, but... Actually, yeah, you know what? Why don't we do that before we go looting? We're gonna that that is our main thing for today, is we are gonna go looting, but um let's make two more tier three tree spreaders. Alright, so we're gonna need two supers. We're gonna need two bacterias. I have uh, a little bit of overflow in there. Two zeolite. To tree bark. And it looks like a a tier one and a tier two fertilizer, maybe? Or no, those they're they are both tier twos. Okay, so we need a couple of those per tree thing a doodle. Alright, now we made this um Amora tree seed, which is an oxygen multiplier of 400. Which is... Oh, new fish eggs. Nice. Okay, so we got... That's the best one we can do, though. Um, the golden seeds are going to still be our, our second best bet now. Let's go back here. Top off our food one more time. And we're, we're going to grab a Tusca. And then let's just pull another golden out of you. And we'll replace you with a Tusca. Okay. <clears throat> if you didn't watch the last episode, I kind of talked a little bit about my plans for our forest down here. Right now, this forest exists just to crank out the plants, uh, the plant index. But once we get that taken care of, then I'm going to redo it and do it a little nicer than what it currently is. Now, I don't know if that extractor's hitting these guys, but we're going to take them down anyway. Because uh, the tier threes are just like miles better than these things are anyway. All right, I, wanna, I do want to check something though. Let's go way the hell out here away from the optimizer for a second and pop one of these down. And we'll put, um,
if, uh, okay, if. Oh, right. I got to make that first. I can't just put the seed right in there. Okay, duh. All right, well, we'll just do, we'll just use the Amora for a minute. All right, so this is doing 27.2 oxygen. Um, and I just, something else just occurred to me too. We don't even have plant multipliers. We just have O2, which we don't really care about right now. So I guess it kind of doesn't matter. Um, but I mean, you know, it still can count towards the overall terraformation index though. So it's still kind of important from that standpoint. Okay. Um, it's still only doing 27.2 O2 though. So I'm thinking it's out of range of the optimizer where is that optimizer i don't even see where the damn thing is yeah see that's the problem with this force is it's so thick you can't even see what the hell's going on <clears throat> Well, like I said, you know, well, okay, hold on. I mean, if we can get it to work, I'd like to. Let's bring it closer. It's going to make things so thick through here, though. All right, now put this in. There, now it's getting 129.2, so it's in range of the optimizer now. Uh, but again, it's just an oxygen optimizer, which sucks, but it is what it is. All right, well, what we'll do is let's put you here and we'll just stick this one back in that's a 125 that they're both 125 so it doesn't really matter here we'll put this one in and that's getting that's only getting 8.5 oxygen so that must be out of range of the thing too all right hold on a sec What if we move it to this spot? Oh, there's the optimizer right there. Okay. Now we'll put this seed in. Now it's getting 110. Okay, so now that's in range of the optimizer too. But what we will do is we'll go back to the base and we'll turn this golden seed into the tree seed and then go swap that other one out. It's still, you know, definitely applying towards plants. Plants is the thing we need to get to the tier two gas extractor. That's what I'm kind of shooting for there. Um, okay, so we need to put the golden flower in of bark and a, uh, a mutagen. Good. Okay, so we'll let that turn into the pleome tree seed, which I think is the 350% multiplier. All that stuff back in there. Oh, there's no room in there. Um, mutagen. Oh, no, those are bacteria. Uh, looks like we have a... Pulsar Quartz Meteorite, or just... No, I think it's just a storm storm. Normal storm. At some point, we should put some lighting in this place, too. Alright, we'll put you back in there, and we'll put you... Back in here for now. I want to bring enough stuff with me to make a portal. So that way we can just loot and then go through the portal, bring it back to the base, go back to the portal, etc. Um, so we need a... Here, let's pin that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We need a super rod. An Oz. Zeo. Two pulsars. Um, and an obsidian. 
Now, oh, that was a drone. He just flew by my face. Do we have enough power to set this down? Yes, we do. Okay, good. All right. I'm thinking that we ought to go over to the volcano or the lava biome. I'm going to bring a couple extra waters. Um, and hit that ship because, as I recall, that ship has a whole bunch of rockets in it. Um, and we might even go ahead and unlock the safe, too. I don't re You know what, though? I don't remember what the how many keys that requires. Okay, let's worry about that later because we can always teleport back here to do that. Okay, so I will meet you guys over at the shipwreck in the lava biome. And you know what? Something just occurred to me. It'll be faster to teleport to the to the waterfall and then just scooch over from there. Even better. You know, we might as <clears throat> excuse me, we might as well hit this bunker whilst we're here. Let's loot this place. Okay, there's a rocket right there. Um, we can't do anything with that. Okay, let's go down to the next level. Got this. A genetic trait. And two more rocket engines. Nice. Okay. Don't know what the hell we need that for. I mean, I'm sure we need it for, like, you know, animals and stuff, but I haven't experienced that yet. Um, oh, we can read this. This is Zeodon. This new place is a bit warmer than my last camp, but I'm still extremely cold. It's been two days since I ran out of food. I miss my family. I'm so lonely. I've lost all hope. I will have to move out soon. I'm terrified of going outside again. It's so dark and so cold. Kind of depressing. Okay. Um, we can't do anything with that. We do have another level here. Those are not lootable, are they? Okay. Uh, all right. Let's pop into here first. Got uh, one chest with another rocket engine and an Oz rod. That's really good stuff. I'll take it. Um, okay, circuit boards. We need those as much as we need rockets because of our drones, of course. And even more rockets. My goodness, look at the rockets we're pulling out of this place. That is amazing. Um, I think we can leave the Pestera seed there. Does this say anything? But now I'm a captive, bodily in irons in a dungeon, and mentally imprisoned in one idea. One horrible, one hideous, one unconquerable idea. I have only one thought, one conviction, one certitude, condemned to death. Yeah, that's pretty depressing. Um, but at least he could sit here and watch lava. Hopefully that kept him warm. Uh, yeah, we don't need to come back down here for this. I think we're done in this place. And that's as far as we can go in this bunker. Excellente. Let's scooch on out of here. And we will go back to the base, drop this stuff off. And here, let's just go lava. Not that I needed to do that. And uh, we'll come back and then move our operations over to the ship. Look at those fish. Isn't that cool? All right, I'll be back in just a minute after I get all this stuff put away. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and pick this up and head on over to the big old ship over here. We'll loot the main part of the ship first, then we'll take a look and see what we need for a fusion course to unlock the, the really good stuff. All right, let's put this right here. Okay. Lovel? What the hell does that mean? There. All right, let's go on inside here. This is a pretty sizable ship, as I recall. A lot of stuff we're going to pull out of here. Uh, we'll go left first. We'll have a lot of things to break down, uh, which will, of course, give us a bunch of iron. And here's our circuit boards. 
Awesome, awesome, awesome. Another rocket engine there. That goes upstairs. We'll go upstairs later. Um, we can't get through there from here, but we can get through there from the other side, I believe. So that's it for the ground floor on this side. Break that down. Turn that down. That's where we just were on the other side. Okay. Can't do anything over there or over here. That leads out to lava anyway. Oh, you know what? I think I got stuck in this place last time. Really? <laughs> I, I almost, I'm almost positive I got stuck in this place last time too. Okay, I can kind of move. Come on, man. Ain't got time for this. <laughs> really? Jesus. Okay, fuck it. Uh, re re we're reloading. Can't believe that. Of all the damn places to get stuck, right? Um, okay, so... Yeah. I, I, I was pretty sure I had saved before we... <laughs> before we, uh... Before I resumed, but I wanted to make sure. Well, actually, I didn't make sure. I just assumed it. But, I mean, what was I supposed to do? I was, like, stuck. Oh, actually, though, isn't there, like... Isn't there an F4... Oh, that's what I should have done. I forgot about that. Yeah, what do you guys told me about that in the comments a long time ago? So if you get stuck, you can press F4. All right. Well, now we know for next time. If I can remember. That's a big if for me. That little rock's not going to be a problem, is it? Um. Oh, sh shit. No, no, no. That's not what we want to do. We want to go over here. All right, let's do this again. Deconstruct that. Get all the servers. And, oh. Energy multiplier fuse. Oh man, look at the trade value on that. That that would be enough for us to buy our Oh, I don't know if I want to trade that though. <laughs> 150% power multiplier? Oh. Okay, well, it's an option, right? I mean, if we wanted to, we could trade that and, and we'd get our tier 2 storage immediately. So we have the option. What a find. Maybe it was maybe it was fortuitous that we got stuck and I reloaded, eh? Um, you know what? I don't want to lose that, so we're going to save right now. <laughs> wow. Okay, cool. Uh, all right, let's start going down this way. Get that thing uh, disassembled and this one here. All right, let's not go in that corner because uh, we know that that what'll happen to us. Another production multiplier fuse. That's good. We have two of those now. Uh, uh, you know, we'll use those once we get a serious production going. I, I didn't put on the fertilizer production because we have too much of it as it is. It's already... You know, we're already kind of overproducing in it at this point. So we'll wait for things that we're going to actually sell where we want to produce as much as we can as quickly as we can. Uh, all right, let's check you. Okay, there's some terror tokens there. Uh, tier 4 mutagen, that's pretty nice. Okay. Take all that. Break you down. That goes upstairs again. We'll do upstairs later. I just want to get the ground floor done first. Okay, here we go. Two more servers. Nice. That means circuit boards, of course. Um, another rocket engine. All right. Well, we can't take all of it, so let's go ahead and do a trip back to the base. 
Drones have us filled up there already, so we're going to have to start utilizing overflow. In fact, we're, we're probably going to have so much stuff from this that I'm going to need even more overflow bins. But, you know, like I always like to say, it's a nice problem to have, right? Uh, let's put some of you in there. Rocket engines. You know what we could do is we could just make, we sh yeah, we should actually. Let's just make more drones with this stuff right now. Then we don't have to worry about storing it. Uh, let me get some of this other stuff put away first, though. Put you in there. We'll hang on to those fuses for the knots. That you're already filled up. Um, let's put the mutagen in there. Um, oh, what did I do? I accidentally dropped it. We'll put that in there. Got a couple Oz rods. Look at our drones filling us up, though. All right, well, let's do this. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll make another Oz rod to save some space. Okay, we're gonna pull all the rockets back out of here. Um, we'll put. I don't. I don't have room for any more flower seeds for now, so I guess we'll just put them in here. That energy multiplier fuse is so nice. Um, in fact, you know what? L why don't we put that to use right now? Uh, we just we only need to make a, a tier one optimizer. So that means we have to actually take away this filter thingy. All right, let's um, pin that. I'm getting, oh, I took both of those off. Okay, so we need two explosives. Uh, two iron. A uranium rod. Do we have those in overflow yet? Just about. And a cobalt. Let's do a save. Oh man. 150% increase in power. That is so good. Oh, you know what though? This can only support up to five. Yeah, we, for that reason alone, because we, what do we have now? We have a uh, seven. Yeah, for that reason alone, we need to make a tier two. Even though, um, you know, we can only put one fuse in it. So, okay, so let's see here. We just need three obsidian. Look at the drones keeping us filled up. Love those drones. These guys are awesome. Here, I'm just going to take one of those right now. That's huge, man. Yeah, I think we'll probably figure out a, a way to make money some other way. I don't want to give up this fuse. This is just too good to to not, you know, not hang on to. Right about there. Oh, I didn't bring the fuse with me. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. All right, we put that in here. Energy multiplier fuse. Right, all right, so we don't actually need you anymore. And we'll put you and you two in there. Uh, we're gonna utilize those in a moment here. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's just actually see how much energy we have now and how much it increases. Just for funsies. Okay, 309. <laughs> Good Lord. 5,672 kilowatts. Wow. That fuse is absolute gold mine, man. Absolute gold mine. All right. So, um... So we're going to make, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to make nine more drones. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, do we have nine circuit boards though? Yes, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To, uh, yeah, nine. Right, okay. So that'll give us a total of 17 drones. I think we can have up to 25 per station. Okay, let's do it. Look at them taking off and going to work already. Did we make nine? Yep, we have a total of 17 because we had eight before and we made nine more. Get to work, boys. Very cool. Let's top off our food. And yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna run out of space so fast. Okay, we'll figure something out though. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's do a save. So we can make up to uh, six more drones with that station. And uh, I, I might end up just having to set up a whole bunch of chests and just dumping stuff in it and then kind of figuring out, you know, later on what we'll do with it. Okay, so we had gotten this far into this room and we started with you, but then we couldn't finish you. We went back there already. Okay, let's go into this next room. Here we go. Um, yeah, I'll take all that. I know I could leave some stuff here, but I, I like to, I like to just take it all just because, um, you know, if we came back in here later and we didn't, for example, we might, I, I might forget, you know, if I had looked at it and, oh, here's a rocket engine right on the ground there. Nice. Another rocket engine. Okay, so we already have, as soon as we get one more rocket engine, then we'll have everything we need uh, to finish out a full complement of drones. And the cool thing about that is we didn't have to pay for them because we got all of the materials for them just from salvaging, you know? And I think that's going to wrap up the ground floor of this ship. I wish we could take these apart. But we've already had that. We already had that conversation. All right, we have a little bit of room left, so why don't we go back to this side of the ship? Some of these doors will open once we do the fusion cells. I just don't know which ones. Can't do anything with that. Okay, so let's go up this ladder. And that puts us in this hallway. That door may open up for us. Um, sometimes if you put your deconstructor on, you can tell if there's something behind it. Okay, good. More circuit boards. We'll take those. Here we go. All right, so what are you going to require? You're going to require two fusion cells. All right, so we'll, we'll remember that. Two fusion cells. Okay, let's go back through here. Can we... Nope, we can't take those doors apart. Hmm. Okay, won't let us do that. What is this? This is a linfolia tree. What is it? Oh, it's a 125. Okay, well, nothing too terribly fantastic. Can we take this apart? Uh, well, we can take the stuff apart that's behind it, but we can't open the door yet. So probably the fusion generator will do that when we activate it. Okay. Let's go back this way. What are you? What are you? Shanga seed. All right. That's uh, not that impressive. That goes down to that lower hallway where we were. We can kind of pre-deconstruct some of that stuff. 
Nothing there. All right, so I think um, I already went in here, right? Yeah. Can I pre-deconstruct anything in there? No. Nope. Okay, this is the fusion reactor room. There's another Shanga on the ground. Don't. I don't see anything else in here we can loot. Look at that console, man. All right, this just takes us down to the lower hallway where we've already been. And um, I think this is the way out. Shriox tree seed, okay. I uh, tell you what, let's take this load back to the base and we'll make ourselves two fusion cells and we'll come back and open up the the really good stuff okay we have enough stuff to make four more drones and that should be a full complement of drones so or no not quite a full complement we still can make four more Right, yeah, we can make four more because we have a total of 25. Okay. Good deal. Save the game and now we need to make two fusion cells. So, oh man, are we going to have enough pulsar quartz for that? Um, no. Okay, we can make pulsar quartz too. Uh, we have a, t or, or we could go loot it from the pulsar quartz cave. Here, let's grab all of those. I wonder why that doesn't have a trade value, but that does. That's weird. Um. Okay, so we need to make two more pulsar quartz. Um. Let's take a look and see what we need for that. We do that in here. So we need, here, let's pin those. So we just need two of each of those thingies. I'm just gonna grab you two, I'm gonna leave, well, actually here, let's get, uh, we'll grab you out of there and, eh, what the hell, we'll grab all of it. I think I have room in the gas bin. Oh yeah, we got lots of room. Okay, but we need two of these. And we're gonna need two of you, Zeos. We're gonna need two iridium, two uranium, and two Oz. Okay. That gives us all the pulsar quartz that we need to make the fusion cell, but we also need four Oz to obsidian. One, two, three, four. Now these guys are worth 80 Terra tokens. So, so my plan is to mass produce these and sell them to make a buttload of money when the time comes. I I kind of I started doing that in season one, but we had to rush season one, you know, to get done with it for one oath, and I never really got that far with it. Okay, so we got the fusion cells. Um, let's top our food off. And um, I think we're good to go. We have two waters. Let's top the water off too. Two game safe. And back to the lava. Okay. 
will go up this ladder into the fusion generator room. And here we go. Okay, so what that did now is that opened up some new compartments and also uh, put some very, very dim emergency lighting in the place. Not enough to really see by. And this is one of the doors that just opened up. Wait, no. Did it just open that up? I don't think so because there's nothing in here. This was probably already open. All right, so um, let's start on this side of the ship. That door did not open. I think this goes back down to... Right, okay. Yeah, so this is the left side of the ship down below. So it didn't open that door. Um, nor that door, nor anything here. So there's actually nothing down here that it changed on this side. Let's try this side. It didn't open anything up there. It opened up that. All right. That was already like that. And it didn't open up that. So this is what it opened here. Okay, so let's deconstruct this. And a bunch of servers for us. That's good. Okay, we'll take that. Decent. More servers. And another chest with another genetic trait. And some more Terra tokens. Okay. Alright, we'll have to come back for that. We'll go drop this load off. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll do the upstairs. The upstairs probably opened up at least two rooms. And one of them is going to have the big safe in it. Alright, so I'll see you guys back here. Okay, so we brought back two more rockets from that last hall. Uh, we'll make two more drones. Oh, I put the iron away. Silly me. Osmium storm. There we go. So we have 23. We just need two more drones. And we're good to go there. Nothing like landing right on top of my roof. Oh, I was going to... I was going to do something. Uh, did I set you to be a demander? I didn't. Let's do that. No, not that. Stop it. Demand you. There. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, an interesting thing to see when you look right out your window. Okay. Let's save and head back out. Go back to lava. Um, all right, so I think we got everything from the ground floor. There was a couple of things we still had in this bin here. So let's grab those. And then I think that's it for this room. never opened up for us. Okay, let's go upstairs. That's the that's the big room right there. Um 
nothing opened up in here. This room was already open. Yeah, there's the big safe. We'll come back to that in a moment. I just want to see if anything else opened up too. Um, that... I think that was already open as well. This is the fusion generator room. Uh, anything open up up here? Negative. Did this open up? Uh, well, it goes in. It's just another passageway into the same room. Okay, so this is it. This is the big cache, you guys. Let's see what we get. Uh, per, another production multiplier fuse, nitrogen, zeolite, that, and then are these all? Oh, oh, oh. That's a 1,000 Terra token. My goodness. I thought they said they nerfed this. That's, oh, there you go. <laughs> yes. There's our tier two storage right there. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. This does not look nerfed to me. There's a thousand Terra tokens. 500. 100, 100, 500, 1,000, and 100. Maybe I misread the patch notes because that is definitely not nerfed. We're already up to 9,100 space bucks and we only needed 5,000 to get that tier two storage. Okay, well that was worth the price of admission. Absolutely worth the price of admission right there. Cool. All right, great. So what we're going to do, because um, I think we're done here. I think we completed the ship, like completely completed the ship. There's nothing else we can do in here unless I miss something, which is entirely possible, I guess. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's just go. We're, since we're done here, let's just pick this up entirely. And I'll meet you guys back at the base and we're gonna we're gonna actually launch the rocket and get our our tier two storage. We have some space, let's go ahead and check this. Alright, another rocket. One more rocket and we have enough for a full the full meal deal. Um you know what we could do? We could go down in this bunker. I don't think we ever went down here. I think it's just a single room bunker. It's all underwater too. Oh man, that is some good stuff. No rocket, but that's okay. We got circuit boards um, and 100 Terra tokens. Um, this is from Iklos. It's been six months since the crash and I'm barely surviving. My main goal is to build a rocket and leave this place forever. This planet is cursed. I can feel it. I'll have to go back to the crash site. I think there was a secret room in the control bay. A deconstructible wall somewhere near the main screens, but it's been a while and I can hardly remember. So basically he's given us a clue about the um that deconstructible wall that we found in the desert ship. Unfortunately, we can't take any of that stuff apart. Okay, good. So we didn't get a rocket, but we got two circuit boards, and that's just as good. In fact, maybe even more expensive, probably. All right, good deal. Um, we have two spots left. Uh, no, I'm not going to grab frog eggs right now. We still have the Stargate shit to loot. We went in there to get microchips, but we never actually did anything else. So what I think we'll do is let's just poke our head in there and um, see if we can find one more. One more. Huzuma was it? Let's put this down. Okay. There's our Huzuma was it right there. Okay, good. So that gives us enough stuff to cap out our drones. Um, here, let's take a water. And then we still have this 
entire ship to do too. This is also a pretty sizable ship. Well, it's I don't know if it's ship or the Stargate or what it is, but there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, oh, it, it's even flooded. For oh wow, look at this. When I came in here for the first time, um, I did it before. How many do you want? Oh, you only need one. Okay, good. You know, before it flooded, so. We'll want to, in that case, um, I think we're going to want to bring some O2 bottles with us. Because I don't know how long we'll be back in there. But, okay. Let's go back to the base. If you're, if you're curious, if you forget to name those, then it just gives you the coordinates of where they are. Um, okay, let's go. Let's drop off. What did we get? We got another production multiplier fuse. That's great. Those are all completely full. I've got some room in here, so we'll drop. Yes, we got two two of our pulsar uh, quartz crystals back. That's good. Um, yeah, let's put all that stuff in there. Different genetic traits. It'll be interesting to see how you know how we end up using those because I don't know yet. Okay, that's good enough. I'll deal with all this other stuff off camera uh, but I want to get our final two drones sent uh, made made up here there we go 25 drones baby that's a full compliment so now what we'll do is we'll build a second station when we need to I don't think we need to right now there goes the drone look at him uh, I don't think we need to right now but soon we'll make a second station you know and then we'll we'll do it all over again very cool. All right. Is there anything that I... Since we have so much shit, is there anything I want to sell? Actually, here. Do, do we have any more blueprint chips left? Interior wall. Okay. Um. So I don't... I'm pretty sure that's not the last one. So, yeah. We'll come across a few more chips, I'm sure, as time goes on. Is any of this stuff worth anything uh well besides these i don't think i want to sell those i really don't we can sell the fabric because that's easy enough to make now that we have silk i just want to send a couple more things up in the rocket so we're we could sell the extra iridium rods let's put that stuff in there for now um nothing nothing uh wait is that we can sell the extra bacteria. Uh, why is the bacteria for sale and the mutagen isn't when that's a higher level item? I don't know. That seems odd to me. Can we sell these trophies? No. Um. Okay, there's some more bacteria. Uh, none of that is sellable. Again, we're not selling our fuses. There's another iridium rod. And more bacteria. Okay, um, put the super alloy in there. We could sell some uranium rods. We kind of have a bit of an excess of that. Let's grab a, a few of those too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go out here. Let's save just in case something crazy happens. Um, we... Bye drones. Look at them go. Okay, I want to purchase the Tier 2 Storage Blueprint. Uh, locker Storage. For 5,000 thingy-me-doodles. That still leaves us another 4,200. There's something else we want to buy right now. Wheat seeds, cooking station, smart fabric. Heat multiplier. Ooh, plant multiplier might be good to get. Uh, oh, the 3x3 three three is 10,000. Okay, no, we're not going to get that. A rounded living compartment, that's even more. Oh, look at this. Living compartment with a dome. That's nice. But it's 25,000 bank, man. That's expensive. 
I mean, eventually 25,000 banks is going to be nothing. We're going to have money coming out our ears. But for now, what does this do? Does that give us like different types of food? That would be neat. Use this in the blueprint screen to unlock a new blueprint. Yeah, let's buy that. Let's see what that does. Uh, what does smart fabric do? Use this in the blueprint. I don't know what the hell that does. We could get ourselves a sofa for the house. Um, I, you know, we'll do all that, of course, but I, I think I want to get one of those. And are there any more power fuses in here? There's pressure, heat, plant, O2, energy, but that one's kind of out of our range at the moment. All right. Well, that's good. I mean, that's that's definitely a good start. Okay. Um, so we're going to buy those things, but we're also going to sell iridium rods, cloth, bacteria, um, and uranium rods. So we'll make a little bit of money, um, you know, in, in addition to selling stuff. Okay. Um, Let's enable the, well, no, let's not do that yet. I, I want to control this at, at the moment. And our purchases are still in here, right? I'm, uh, yeah, I'm assuming so because it still shows that it does. How do I know what I, oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. It tells you right here. So we have one of, we've bought one of those. We bought the cooking station. And most importantly, we bought the tier two locker storage blueprint. Excellent. Okay, let's launch this sucker. Uh, where's the button? Launch button? Hello? Oh, do we do it from here? Yes. There's the button. Bon voyage. Bring us back some really cool stuff. Hey, we got the fish display. Huzzah. Okay, so that rocket takes, what, 15 minutes? Hi, B. Before it returns. Um, so, obviously, we need to wrap up this episode here. Uh, sure had a hell of a fun time in this episode, though. It was great. Uh, we got a full complement of drones. And when that rocket comes back, we will have the blueprint for the Tier 2 storage. If you don't already know, the Tier 2 storage has... Jeez three to four times as much storage space as as this does i mean it's just amazing um and we're you know we're definitely going to want that for sure especially with all this extra shit that we <laughs> you know that we looted uh so that's going to be really cool all right guys i'm gonna let you go here thank you very much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did you know what to do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and we'll catch y'all in the very next episode see ya